For only one month, you'll be able to check out a rare exhibit in Green Bay. And hey, Rebecca Looney uh, joins us live from the Neville Public Museum with more. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. What are we going to be taking a look at right now with the Anne Frank um, exhibit? Well, we actually uh, were able to get some very rare replicas. I know rare re replicas seems like a strange thing, but uh, there's only about two or three of these in existence. Mm -hmm. And for the exhibit, we got these photo albums which are very good replicas of the Frank's actual photo albums, which are in Amsterdam currently. And we were also able to get a replica of the diary. Um, this is something that the Anne Frank Center in New York City doesn't usually part with, but for this exhibit they were willing to do so. And it's just a wonderful thing to see her actual handwriting. Um, this is the first diary that Anne received when she was 13, just a couple of months before going into hiding. Wow, that's unbelievable. Are you able to, Rebecca, you know, see that right there? We see the writing. Is there anything you can read to us at all from that diary? It's written in Dutch, and I don't know Dutch, oh. unfortunately. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Anne had moved to Amsterdam with her family in 1934, um, soon after Hitler was elected uh, as Chancellor of Germany. And so Otto Frank, the father, knew that it was time to leave Germany. And he found a position in Amsterdam and moved his whole family there, hoping that um, World War II would never happen. Do you know what those pictures are of? I mean, it looks like they're on the beach, or do you know what those are of, Rebecca? Yes, yes, these are pictures on the beach, and these are pictures that Anne put into her diary because they were particularly significant to her. So in the picture on the upper left, you see Anne and her sister Margot at the beach in 1939, and in the background is her grandmother who had just fled Germany and was living with the family in Amsterdam. Wow. And she put it in there and she writes something about how, how wonderful her grandmother is and how she holds treasures that photograph. Hmm. Great. Well, we have about a month to check out this exhibit if you want to, the Neville Public Museum. Rebecca, thanks so much. We'll check in with you in the 8 o'clock hour. Okay.